guys, it's Jody. Today's video, we are going to be continuing the series with the testing out the Valspar Ultra untinted base paints. Uh, the last two videos, we tested out the high gloss. And so this video and then the next video, we're going to be testing out the Valspar Ultra in the semi gloss, the base C. This guy right here. It's the base C, but it's semi gloss. It's got a little bit more titanium in it, but it still it dries beautifully. I mean, I had a hard time picking out between the two. So, and then the uh, also the Averithane Triple Thick is the varnish that's being used for this pouring medium. So today we're going to be doing a bloom and a swipe with the semi gloss, uh, similar to how we've been uh, experimenting in the last two videos. We'll do a bloom first and then we'll do a swipe and we're going to be doing the Australian Floetrol cell activator this video. The next one will be the US Floetrol. And I, I wanted to mention before too, if you are, you know, looking to try this, this untinted base paint as your pouring medium, or if you're new to my channel and you're, you know, wondering what to get, all of them work. You know, all the, all the pouring medium bases, the paint bases that I've experimented with, they all work. I just like to show you all the different ones that do work. You know, it can work different price points, but if you're just starting or if you're wanting to try something new, I would suggest if they have a quart, like this is a quart can, it's a lot cheaper to buy a quart because if you find you don't like it, you, you didn't waste as much money. And same with pillow too. I get asked a lot what pillow, um, it's the Glidden Premium in either the satin or the eggshell. Those two, I go between those two so many, all the, all the time I switch between the two. Lately I've been using the satin only because it's what I've had on my bench, but I love both the eggshell and the satin. And if you're not sure on, you know, which one you should get, get a quart of each. You know, they're, I think the quarts are like maybe 10 bucks, if that. The gallons are 20, so you're not going to waste too much money, but you know, it, it, just to try something instead, I would recommend buying quarts before you buy gallons. Um, so having said all of that, let's go get started having some fun with this uh, bloom and swipe we've got to do today. All right, before we get started with the painting, uh, real quick, I had a question uh, from one of my subscribers uh, about what my spinner looked like. So I kind of wanted to show you underneath all the, <laughs> underneath all the grub, if you can see, this is kind of what it looks like. It's got a nice base that spins. It's metal. And I get it on Amazon. The link uh, is in the description box down below. There's uh, my Amazon storefront. And there's a link in there. You can check that one out or search for similar ones. Um, but it is metal, so it's very sturdy and heavy duty. Uh, I like to put... I get these little... Oops. I get these little cover-ups at uh, the Dollar Tree and the small size won't fit, but the large and medium sizes, um, I I can get them to fit. So that kind of holds the paint out on the bottom portion. And then this here is actually press and seal that I put on. And when it starts to get real thick, I'll just take it off and, and put some new one on. But so that's what I do with my spinner. So I hope this helps. And you can probably find shower caps or actually I think Karen from Waterfall Acrylics on her spinner uses a, a oh, <laughs> shower caps, shower caps, Jody, shower caps uh, on this part here. I just used the press and seal right now. I'll, uh, I might give the shower cap a go, but those are some options for your spinner. So I hope this helps. And now we're going to go paint. All right. For this first piece, I have got the, uh, my six by six deep sided canvas. Again, I've already got some paint on the side and I've got uh, pillow paint <clears throat> securing this so it doesn't move around. And just as a reminder, we're going to be testing out the Valspar Ultra, the semi-gloss, the base C. And that is mixed with the Verithane Triple Thick Water-Based Polyurethane in the clear, clear gloss at three to one. So three parts of the Valspar to one part of the Verithane. And I'm gonna be using the same colors 
because I just can't help myself and it just helps me to see how everything responds by using um, the same. So I'll just go over them really quickly. This is the Atelier, the red gold. Actually, you know what? Let me back up one second. Before I show you the consistency of the red gold, let me show you the consistency of the, the pouring. Me this is the pouring medium mixed up. Uh, the Valspar Ultra, the semi-gloss, and the Verithane. It has a really nice, just it just runs really nicely off the stick. I don't have too much left in here, but it leaves a mound in there and a trace for about, I don't know, two, three seconds. It's, it's a really nice, nice consistency, and it works well with... Uh, any type of paint I'm finding this like I said before this tube paint this tube paint this the red gold especially and I don't I haven't really used a lot of other Atelier interactives but this is super thick and it takes a lot to mix in but here's the it may look thick but really it's it's not it's not that thick it's a really nice consistency and it runs really nicely off the stick so we've got that one, and then we have the Utrecht Fluid Acrylic uh, Red Violet again. And for a fluid, I mean, it just mixes up really nicely. It has a nice thickness. I haven't had to add anything to thicken anything with this pouring medium. There's that consistency, and then the pigment is the this little piggy, the lakeside. And I haven't had it to, usually your fluids and your pigments are going to be a little bit thinner, but they just all, all of them are just a really nice consistency, pretty, pretty even. And I feel like they thicken up just a little after you mix them and they're just, just a really nice consistency. So now... Having said all of that, the pillow I am going to be using is my Glidden Premium in satin. So I'll just put a little bit on here. And this first one here, we're going to do a bloom. That's plenty. And then the cell activator, um, we're back to using the Australian Floetrol for this video. Uh, I have it mixed up here at uh, using the Amsterdam Titanium White and the Australian Flow Trial at four to one. So let's get down to it. I'm gonna add the red gold first. It is just uh, overall uh, with all of these colors mixed up, it is probably just a touch thicker than uh, the high gloss the semi-gloss seems to be just a hair thicker, but we'll see how, how how it performs. In all my tests, it performed really nicely with the Verithane. And then here is the pigment, the lakeside. And then finally, we'll put down the red violet. And the white cell activator. That should be enough. I ran out of steam there for a second. <laughs> and depending on how you blow yours out, uh, this is just the way I've always blown mine. Sometimes I can get it to blow out 
all at once, but most of the time I can't. I need my straw to help fill in the gaps. But if you have a bigger breath than I do, your cells might pop up in the middle a lot, a lot easier than mine do. So just something to think about. But I love all these little microscopic cells that I can get, get up. I have a special place in my heart for them. <laughs> and that blew out so nice. Let's do a few little modifications here. I don't know, like how that's looking. I'm gonna add a little interest in there. Divide some of these cells up just a little that are might turn a little bit bigger. Alright, let's see. I think we're that in. All right, I think that's good. A lot of other stuff's going to be just moved off. Mostly the center is what I'm looking at. So I will meet you over at the spinner box and we will spin this out and see where it goes. what this one looks like before we spin it out and I'm just gonna spin slow so it'll trickle down the sides because we've got deep sides All right. gosh those cells are gorgeous just want to bring it over in the middle just a little Got more paint to get off. I don't want to lose a lot of those really awesome cells in the center. I'm trying to keep it centered. Maybe I'll go this way just a little. Just to get some of this, this maroon off here, this red violet off. Alright, little spin. I think we're almost there. It's not really moving too much more. Go this way just a little. Get some of this off right here. And then bring it back just a little. And just another little baby spin. Yeah. Yeah, it's just moving ever so slightly. I am comfortable with, with that, that it won't crack on me. Oof, this is gorgeous. I just love how this bloom turned out. There's what that looks like. All right, for this second piece, same colors, but we're gonna do a swipe. And I'm going to use the Black Cell Activator, the Australian Floetrol mixed with the Amsterdam Oxide Black. And there's the consistency of that. My next video, we will do this again, but it'll be the US Floetrol. All right. And the same pillow, the Glidden Premium in Satin. And I've got the sides coated already. Because this is, a, a again, a, a, a six by six, the deep sided. All right, actually I want just a little bit more right here. 
right there. Let's just stretch that out just a little in case my swipes go further. All right, I am gonna use this palette knife. I, this seems to be my favorite uh, palette knife to use for a swipe. It has a good amount. Um, it's not too big, it's not too small, and you can get a lot of paint on here. So I will show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna load up the cell activator and all the paints layered on here. So I will show you once I'm done. All right, I've got the black cell activator, then I have the, the red violet, the lakeside pigment, and then the red gold tube paint. So I think we're gonna go right here. And we're gonna go like so. Nice response. Nice response. All right, let me see here get my little one. I don't have anything on it. I just want to try and spread some of this out where it's thicker. See if I can get some movement. And same here. If that doesn't work, I can always get my straw out. Well, this swiped really nice. I almost want to do just a small one right here. But half of me says no, it might ruin it. <laughs> I'm going to go for it. I've got all three on there again. Tiny little, tiny little swipe. Oh, that's all right. You know what? We're going to go like that. <laughs> that is the risk you take. Trying to go into a small little area like that. Half of it falls off while you're trying to swipe. anything with my straw. That's a little bit better. I don't know that it'll make anything, but it's not so harsh now. All right, let's see what we can do with this. And I've got a lot coming down this side. Let's move this over just a little. There's probably no use doing this right here, but it's going to probably fall off uh, unless I go this way, which I might actually do. Get some interest there. All right. I think we're good. I really like all of these cells in here. And this, this is going to come off. So I will meet you over at the spinner box and we will see what comes of it. All right, here's what this looks like before we start moving it around. I'm going to tilt it a little and then spin. I'm going to go this way. Just a little, maybe up. Just a little. Okay. 
get a lot of the paint up further. kind of how I wanted it to go off. Get some of this off. I'll bring it back. Bring it down just a little. And another spin. that orientation. I'm going to save some of the more colorful cells, but I also want to save some of that black and white bit, so let's just do baby spins. That's really cool. That looks like an eye right there. What is it with eyes lately? paint I need to get off. I'm going to move it this way and then bring it back. Okay. We're just about there. Just a baby spin. Decide which orientation I like better, this one or this one. So cool. Not as colorful as I kind of wanted it, but I'm really digging the movement. Here's what this one looks like. I am going to get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover for both of them. All right, here's the flyover of this one. And this, again, is the semi-gloss. Just the cell explosion and the colors are just gorgeous. I love those micro cells. <laughs> I just love, I just love those. And this lake side in here came out a bit more in this one. I'm, I'm glad I switched the, the um, order of the colors. But it's just absolutely gorgeous. I love when... You get all three colors in there, a little hint of shimmer. So we'll watch to see all these little microcells. Make sure they don't shift, because that's what I watch for. If they shift, then something's off. All right, here is the flyover of this guy here. This looks like a little oogly guy with big eyes. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> And these cells responded really nicely. And I love the subtle shimmer in there too. Can't really get too creative on a swipe on a smaller canvas, but we do with we deal with what we can. See, it looks it looks like an oogly guy. <laughs> like a with big eyes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, at any rate, this is what this piece looked like. I am super excited to see how these two dry so i will be back once they are fully dried to give you the dried results and i'm back to show you the dried results of the two pieces you just saw me do and they dried beautifully and again this was the um the valspar ultra semi-gloss with the varathane triple thick and i i'm going to show you these two pieces that we just did but then i'm going to show you the comparison to the high gloss and there really isn't that much difference <laughs> <laughs> which is awesome um, and I'll explain more but let's let's show this first that here's here it is fully you can see it has a nice it, it, it dries for a semi-gloss it dries with a nice nice shine to it you can see those the pigment in there too but let me get up close now so you can see more of the detail and 
all those cute little tiny microscopic cells just stayed put and dried beautifully. I mean, just the explosion of cells. This reminds me of um, why I fell in love with the Glidden, the Glidden Semi-Gloss, the Glidden uh, Premium, the Red Can. I use the pillow, but I've also used the Base 3 uh, Semi-Gloss as my pouring medium. And I've always loved that because it gave me these these cells, just the explosion of cells and the colors and it, it, just gorgeous. And I sort of see that sometimes with the infinity. It depends on how I'm blowing, but this, it just, it brought it back. And it's uh, because the, 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 uh, Glidden has titanium in it. Um, I know some people don't like to use the bases that have more titanium and that's okay. You know, you want a clearer base. This is a very, I'm, I'm sorry, this, <laughs> this is the semi-gloss. <laughs> I keep forgetting <laughs> the high gloss, which I'll show you again in a minute explodes just like this. And then this is the semi-gloss. I, I mean, uh, here's another option for you. <laughs> I'm going to stop gushing. So here's that one. <laughs> And then the swipe I did dried just beautifully as well. And so here it is full as a whole. <laughs> I would say full. Um, and then I'm just going to move it around. I I lost some of my color because, well, I had to tilt a lot off. It's, it's harder to do swipes on smaller pieces than it is bigger pieces. But it just, it did everything that I wanted it to do. And it dried just beautifully and these the cells just stayed put and here's my i kept saying oogly googly i was trying to say googly eye with the two eyes and the nose a little googly eye guy <laughs> anyway i always find something in in my pieces whether it's you know skulls or eyes or something's always hiding in there and that's and that's fun to see so those two were the Valspar Ultra Semi Gloss. Now I'm going to show you together the, this is the one, the bloom I just showed you, the Semi Gloss. And this is the High Gloss. And I mean, this one might be a touch glossier, but and I have the colors layered differently, but if you if you look at the colors themselves, the vibrancy between the high gloss and the semi gloss, uh, not much difference, if at all. And I I showed you in the first video of this series how they dried, how the paint base dried alone, and clearly the semi gloss had a little bit more titanium in it. But that's why I said trust me. It, wait till you see how it dries. It's, I mean, it's, I, I, there are times if, if I don't write down and know exactly what it is, I can't tell the difference between the semi gloss and the high gloss. And I only say that if you can get the high gloss, totally get it. If you're using it, awesome. I, I love this. If they, if the infinity were discontinued tomorrow, this would be my new pouring medium. But if for some reason you can't get the high gloss, or uh, it's out of stock, you know, or for whatever reason, the semi-gloss works really well too. So give that a try if you aren't able to get the high gloss. That's, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it at that because I, I know that there's pros and cons and people, um, there's some that want it super clear and others don't mind having a little bit of titanium in them. And that's, it's okay all the way around. And now I will just show you really quick the um, the two swipes. This is the semi gloss. This is the high gloss. And again, I mean, they're both almost equally as shiny. This is just a hair. I like to say hair <laughs> more, but the the color vibrancy is is there. And these are both with the uh, Australian Floetrol. The next video I'm going to be 
doing the bloom and the swipe again, but we're going to be using the US Floetrol cell activator to see how it responds with the semi-gloss base. And then once that's done, uh, I'll do a mixing video for you guys so you can see how I mix both of them up and then we'll go from there and I'll probably end up using both of these pouring mediums. Um, I just, I, 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 and when I say both, I mean the semi-gloss and the high gloss for the Valspar, but also, you know how much I love my Infinity. <laughs> so with all of that, if you have any questions whatsoever, please leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you think of of these bases. Have you tried the high gloss or the semi gloss? Do you like one over the other? Have you used this uh, base with a different varnish? I I absolutely love it with the Verithane. I just can't get it to work with the Jasonia the way I want it to, but I'd love to hear if you're using even something different that I don't even know about. You know, just I love hearing <laughs> All of it. So with that, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I had a lot of fun putting it together. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.